What is going on here? He had to empty out the uh, Tanako so he could cut the line. We're gonna dump this Tanako and use that uh, Hydro Nematico that I mentioned before. No more Tanaka. Now we can get rid of this column. There's the other Tanaka. From up there down to here. That's called a Bomba. So I think I'm going to go with that 40 gallon one. This week we removed the two Tanakos uh, here on the house and replaced them with a Hydro Pneumatico or pressure pump. The Tanakos are those water tanks that you see on every house here in Mexico. The system uh, with the Tanakos generally work this way. Um, the water is delivered to uh, a cistern uh, underground on your property and then pumped up to the Tanako on the roof or somewhere else uh, on the property using a motor called a bomba. Gravity then provides the water pressure to your sinks and your showers. Some of the, uh, the nicer shower heads here actually won't work unless you have a minimum of 10 meters of height with the Tanako down. Uh, in the United States, water pressure is generally around 50 PSI, but with Tanakos, it can be 15 or less than that. It's really difficult to wash your car at uh, 15 or less PSI. Um, the water pressure is just one of a few issues that we have um, with the Tanakos here at our house. Um, they also need to be cleaned occasionally because they can be breeding grounds for bacteria like E. coli and Salmonella. Uh, we had one of the two Tanakos located in the bedroom, um, which wasn't the prettiest uh, thing to look at as well. So uh, we needed to find a better way to do things. The Hydro Pneumatico should solve these problems. Two issues though with the Hydro Pneumatico, the pressure pump. Um, the first is if you lose power, you lose your water. So the plan is we'll solve that by placing a, uh, a Tanako on our uh, rooftop patio. And uh, the second is that this pressure pump system is much more expensive. A Tanako like this all set up is about $100, but just this past week we spent over $1,500 in just materials for, uh, for the system. The, uh, the water tank and the Bomba alone were about $1,000. Um, the old Bomba uh, was located beside the cistern and the new one's placed inside it. So we'll go back there and I'll show you that right now. That's the old Bomba right there. And uh, they're installing everything else right now. The circuit breaker for the Bomba that's inside the cistern is located right here in this storage room, also called a bodega here in Mexico. Um, we still need to put filters on the water entering and leaving the cistern. Water actually leaves purification plants in Mexico clean and drinkable, but through old pipes that are contaminated, these cisterns that can be dirty, as well as the Tanacos, once it gets to your sinks, it's uh, generally not safe to drink. Um, so, uh, and as a result of this, Mexico actually consumes more bottled water per capita than any other country in the world. And as much as half of the water that's distributed by the government is uh, wasted through these old water uh, distribution systems. So once we uh, get the filters in there, I was, I'm not gonna drink the water, but I'll feel better about brushing my teeth with it. The tank location behind this box is temporary. Uh, until we finish a few other things, but um, it's important that it's protected from the sun, so that's why it's uh, got a box on it. We're going to buy a new Tanako to use for our backup water source. The plan is to keep the two old Tanakos and use them to collect water off the roof during the rainy season to use to water plants during the dry season. That's the plan, and as always, it's going to be up to someone else to execute it. All right. Thanks for watching. Take care.